Emma Galloway is a chef, food photographer, author, and creator of the multi-award winning food blog, My Darling Lemon Time. Her work is featured around the globe and she's become the poster girl for living healthy and making delicious allergy-free food. Kia ora hoa. Morena, Stacey. Morena. No mai hoki mai. So good to have you back in our kota because I feel healthier already just having you here. <laughs> Koya kayakwe, you are so good at making allergy free food so you have barely notice that it is allergy friendly. Ne? Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. Kia kore ai tato e fai whakaro ki ngā ate te kai. So we're not thinking about what we can't have mm. but what we can have. Totally. Yeah. Okay, so what are we going to make today? Today I'm going to show you how to make my favourite summer meal, Vietnamese rice paper rolls, and have it with a dipping sauce that's real zesty. Uh, it's got lime juice in there and chilli as well if you like it. Ha te ahone he tofu do kai te haere, so it looks like we're going to get into some beautiful dessert as well. We are. We're going to make some little baby hazelnut chocolate filled cookies. You are speaking my real. I'm loving that. Katsimata ki here. So where are we going to start? Over at the yeah, rice rolls? Yeah, over here. First up we'll make the uh, pickled cucumber, I think. So you can either use a mandolin if you have one. I know lots of people are a little bit scared of using them, grated fingers and all. So we're going to do the other version, which is just with a knife. We're not going to use the seeds. I tend to just eat those as a snack, or the kids like them. So you can slice kind of a little bit of seeds is okay, but you kind of just want to slice around the seeds. And then we're just going to chop them into little julienne. 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 Cool. While you get on with that, I will start doing the pickling liquid. So for every kind of half a cucumber, you need 50 mils of apple cider vinegar, 100 mils of just cold water, two tablespoons of sugar, I tend to use unrefined raw sugar, and about half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna boil it for a couple of minutes until it just goes a little bit syrupy, and then pull it off and let it sit aside until it's pretty much cool before we pour it over the cucumbers. So what else do we need to do here? So we're gonna make, uh, get all the rest of the fillings all ready. I tend to, you can use any noodles in the middle, but I tend to use a vermicelli noodle. This is just made out of mung beans. So you just cover it in boiling water and set it aside for five minutes, and then we'll just drain that off. So we're looking at the sauce now. Yeah, so we're going to mix up the dipping sauce, which is basically just hoisin sauce. Uh, but I, I have to eat gluten-free because of an intolerance, so I get a gluten-free hoisin sauce. You, if gluten's no problem for you, this is readily available, you know, everywhere. Those are the, that's the base, the two Yeah, so the dipping sauce, like in Vietnam, what they'll serve you is hoisin sauce thinned down with just a little bit of boiling water. But I like thinning it down with lime juice. Um, oh. And I also tend to add just a little bit of finely chopped uh, chilli to it as well. Come yeah. On, I might get you to do this. Yeah, no. go on then, go on then. <laughs> When you first open the, the um, bottle, it doesn't usually like to come out very easily, oh, okay. so I just kind of <laughs> put some cup maybe into it. Hoist it. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, oh. just want to squeeze this in. And it's really up to you how thin or thick you like it. Just enough so that you can kind of dip, dip it in without it being gluggy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're putting some chilli in there too, did you say? Up to you. I love chilli like a crazy person. I would, I would. That's, that's me. Well, actually, I actually grew into it, so you know right. I like it. No, I'm, I'll only add a little bit. So you just want to finely chop it, and it's totally up to you. And when we're serving these at home, we serve them, serve them Vietnamese style. So rather than one person making all of the rolls, we just put all the ingredients in the middle of the table. Everyone has their own plate. There's a couple of water bowls to dip your rice paper in, and everyone has their own little sauce. And yeah. everyone grabs the fillings that they like as well and leaves out the bits they don't like. Yeah. Pai hai tēnā hai kai mā te and that makes it really work for a whānau too, totally. rather than doing a sous chef thing. Absolutely. Every child and all their desires. Absolutely. Probably onto some tofu next. I'm just going to grill this, so... With, with the lovely chilli knife, we'll just slice it up. And I like to cook my tofu really slowly so that it can get quite crispy on the outside. And while we're cooking, we'll pour that pickling liquid over the cucumbers and just get them pickling. Mawa, so are those looking good? Nice and crispy, and then we can get those out of the pan and just slice them up. I've just drained these and a good little tip is to just get some scissors in there and give it a couple of snips just to break up because at the moment these are huge big long kind of mm. strands. Cool and then we're just going to get any kind of, we're going to use a flat tray, fill that up with water so it's not super duper hot but it's not cold as well. Alrighty so if we grab one of these each, mm -hmm. put one there, 
you seriously just want to dip it in for that. It just needs to be wet. Okay, so at this stage it still feels really kind of papery and, and not very, you know, nice to eat. But by the time you've added all of the fillings, it's nice and soft and it's not too wet. It, you know, dries out itself. To nahitia, ne? So and then yep. you... Fold the bottom up and then, and then the inside's in. And at this stage, this is where you want to make sure that it's really tight when you roll it up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and I want to eat them. Go for it. Kia ora, hoa, mo tēnei wā, we, we, I won't double dip, I promise. Or I might, actually. Well, we figured out the best way to do it um, if you're not, if you don't have your own dipping sauce bowl, is to dip that way, have a bite, and then mm. dip, dip that end as well. Mm. I like what you did with a little bit of chilli in there. Mm. I love this because it's just so nice and easy to do. Every member of the whānau can choose exactly what they want. Absolutely. I can see this is a go-to summer special. Yep. And then we've got another delicious looking recipe to do. Yeah, we're going to make the hazelnut chocolate filled cookies now. Put the oven on first, I guess, yep. if we're baking. Definitely about 170. So I've just roasted the hazelnuts. There's three quarters of a cup of hazelnuts. So if you just want, actually, we'll put the sugar in there too. So we need a third of a cup of sugar. So we're just going to blend that in just until it's pulsed together, like finely ground. You don't want to go too hard out, or otherwise you'll end up with a really nice, sweet um, hazelnut butter, oh, which is okay. not what yeah, we're after yeah. today. <laughs> Oh wow, that was quick. Yep. So, and then we've got two tablespoons of brown rice flour. Yeah. Okay, so that can go in as well. Yeah, so the egg right there. Yep. And about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're going to whiz that up again. Yep. Cool, and then should we both roll, roll these? Kind of teaspoon size balls. Right. And we're going to aim to try and get about 24 so that once they're sandwiched together with the chocolate, we'll have 12 um, cookies. So they just go in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. So we're just going to mount this dark chocolate in a double boiler. So just a pot of water. Make sure that the bowl is not touching the water. Um, and then it just kind of mounts it nice and gently. Mm. Nice and golden. Here, huh? They look fantastic. Yeah. So we need to leave those so, to cool. If you want them to cool down faster, transfer them to like a wire cooling rack and then um, wait till they're cool and then sandwich them. They're quite cool there. Yep. And we're just going to, if you just take one, a little blob of chocolate on there and then try and match it up with a similar sized one. Happy <laughs> burger, it's like a, a biscuit burger. If you don't want to do this, you could always just drizzle chocolate on the top of all of them, um, and then you'll have more cookies. Or you could dip the whole thing in, a, in the chocolate if you really want. I love seeing you again. And now, Kota, especially when you bring amazing recipes, so easy to do. Pai katoa mate whānau, and very good for all of our whānau. I love, they're very whānau friendly. Definitely, oh, definitely. Don't, don't let me hang in here. <laughs> Which one? Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, if I have to. The whole one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do them. <laughs> Those are good. No. Oh, you did it the right way. Huh? Oh, I set you up. <laughs>